safety, sports safety. This will be a long lesson. There is a lot to cover. Safety first. No picture is worth risking your safety over. Be aware or learn the dangers of the sports that you are covering. If you don't know, ask. Every sport has its dangers. When you are on a playing field or the court, it is your job to keep out of the way of the players. They are concentrating on playing the game, not avoiding you. Never plant yourself in a potentially dangerous position. Always have an escape route. Do not let yourself be trapped. Situational awareness. Shoot with two eyes open and be aware of what is happening around you. Danger may not come from the player you are tracking, but the player coming from the side. Or shoot with a spotter or bodyguard. That person will be the one who is looking around to keep you safe. Watch the ball and be aware of where it is, where it's going, and the players. If you lose track of the ball and the play, lower the camera and reset. Figure out where everything is going. This is a ranking of sports by danger. First, clay target, skeet trap, shotgun. That should explain everything. Next, air rifle, golf, football, lacrosse, then soccer. Lacrosse and soccer do not stop and have plays like football. They are a continuous flowing game. Hence, they're grouped together. Now, lacrosse is more dangerous than soccer because it has a smaller ball that is whipped with a stick. And if you get hit by that ball, it is going to hurt. Baseball, then softball, similar thing. Both played on a diamond, but that baseball, it's small and hard. Basketball, it's not the tool. You can get hit by a basketball and it won't hurt very much. It's the players running into you. Volleyball, possibly players and very likely a deflected spike. Example of a photographer getting run over by a football player. Picture left. I want you to look at her face. That is a face of somebody that knows she is going to get hurt and it is going to hurt. And picture right in the red square, you can see that she has been lifted up and thrown backwards by the football player. His left knee just hooked into her and lifted her out. A kid not paying attention. You would think baseball is safe, but he's he was texting on his, on his telephone. The bat slid out of the batter's grip and went flying into the stand. If dad hadn't put his arm out in front of his face, that bat would have collided with the kid's face. And I'll let you imagine what would his face would be like if a bat ran into it. Okay, so we're going to have a little sequence here. Exercise. Hold your hand in front of you like you're holding a camera. Your team player is in blue and carrying the ball. Okay, your team player is number four in the blue. Here we go. Bang. How many of you moved? If you moved, you are not injured. If you did not move, you are laying on the ground injured and your camera is damaged. Okay, this is an, an, a look back at what happened. From the first picture on the top left to the bottom picture on the bottom right is about one second. Six frames on my camera at six frames per second. Player on the top left, he's running. Top right picture in the red circle. Opponent player, he's coming in from the right. If you did not see him coming in from the right, 
when he hits on the bottom, it's too late. You've basically lost a half second of time that could have saved you. The other thing is, don't get into these situations. When a player is coming that close to you, just get out of the way. Exercise. What I want you to do is stand up. On the next picture, you're going to be pretending to be the photographer. How far did the tackle happen from you? And here's the picture. How far are you, the photographer, from this tackle? It is pretty close. Second danger is there is a player that is ready to jump over one of the guys on the ground. If he veers just a little bit to his right, he is going to collide with you. This was a very dangerous situation. Softball, foul ball hit. I want you guys to take a look at the softball field at your school. Look at that protective fence and see how damaged it is from the foul ball hits. If you're not paying attention and a foul ball hits you, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Planted. Planted means fixed. You're planted in the ground like a tree. You're set in a position that is difficult or time-consuming to get out of. The issue is, if you cannot get out of the way of a player running towards you, the player will collide into you. Someone will get hurt. For football, the player has padding and a helmet. You have no protection. If he collides into you, you lose. The players are playing their game. They are not watching out for you. It is your job to keep out of their way. And I have talked to players and coaches. When they are playing, they are concentrating on that game. They are not concentrating on who is around the field. So they won't see. You may be in bright orange clothes. They won't see you until they actually crash into you. Here are some pictures of planted. Top picture. Guy sitting cross-legged. Bottom right. It's a lady with sitting down with her legs out. Bottom left. Guy sitting on a stool. Now this one is da really dangerous. He's got a monopod between his legs and he's got his legs crossed. If he gets up, he's going to get tangled in that monopod, plus his legs are crossed. He's got to untangle, he's got to uncross his legs first. Top picture, I want you to notice something. There are two photographers. One is standing. He can take five steps to the side before the guy that is on the ground can even get up. So he can get out of the way way faster than the other guy. Now, what I want you to do is get into these positions at home and just see how fast you can get up and move five feet. Now, imagine you've got a group, you're playing either football, soccer, lacrosse, and there are a bunch of four players heading straight towards you, and you've got to get up and out of the way. Can you get up in time? Planted and trapped. This guy is planted. You can see he's cross-legged. He's also trapped. He's got a bench behind him, and he's got people on the right. He's looking to his left, so if the play comes towards him, he can't go left. He'll be going into the traffic. He's trapped. Another place to be trapped. The team box on football. In where you, if you can get into the team box, depends on the school and the league. In high school, I can go into the team box. 
I doubt I can get into the team box in college or professional. Now the danger here, if you go into the team box, look at that line of players. If there is a player heading straight towards you and you got to get out, you turn around and all you see is a wall of players, you are trapped. When I go into the team box, I make sure I, I'm either at the end where there's nobody behind me or if there's a gap in the line. If that gap closes in, I'm out of there. In the gym. Now this is, a, this is three strikes and he's out. This guy in the orange shirt, he's planted on the floor, cross-legged. He's in a dangerous place behind the basket, and he's not paying attention to the game. He's paying attention to his phone. Three strikes. If there is a play headed for that basket really fast, he's not going to know it, and he's not going to be able to move. He's going to get landed on before he, gets, he can do anything. Do you think any of these players are watching who they may come down crashing down on? I want you to look at these players' faces. They're looking up at the basket. They're not looking down where they're going to come at who they may come down on. So they don't even know that you're there. Now for basketball. I have an extra escape route. Do you see the doors that are in highlighted with the red square? Rather than where that guy is on the floor, I stand in front of those doors. I can go left, right, or if I need to eat, if I need to get out, I can go backwards out through the doors. And yes, I do check that the doors open easily. If one of those doors is sticky and doesn't open easily, I don't stand in front of that door. Situational awareness and your eyes. If you only have one eye open looking through the camera, your field of vision is that orange triangle in the middle. The red squares to the left and right are your blind spots. You're just looking out through the camera and that you can only see straight ahead. Something coming from left or right is going to hit you. This is why you do not want to just, you would want to close one eye and be taking pictures if you can help it. Now, if you have two eyes open, right eye is looking through the camera, left eye is looking to the left, the yellow triangle. So you're covered on the left, but you still can't see on the right got that blind spot on your right. So if danger is coming from the right, you could still get hit. This blind spot is why you want to have a spotter or a bodyguard on some of these sports. For instance, football, soccer, lacrosse, even baseball and softball. It helps to have that spotter to keep your blind eye, blind side safe. Besides the other fact that the spotter can be just watching the game and telling you where action's moving. Final exam. This picture. What did the photographer do wrong and what should she have done? You have 30 seconds. Time's up. Okay, some answers. What she did wrong. She is kneeling. She is semi-planted. Not quite planted. She can get up and move. Next, she did not see the football player. 
tunnel vision, just using one eye? Or did he come out of her blind right side? On a pass, where is the receiver? There is always a receiver on the pass. So you need to watch for, you need to look for that. What should she have done? When the play went in her direction, get up on her feet and get out of the way. Pay attention to an arc around her or shoot with the spotter bodyguard. Spotty, this, your spotter and bodyguard can look into that blind right side you have and see danger coming from the right. On a pass, there is a receiver. Look for the receiver and the covering players. So it's not just one person, the receiver. It could be two or three people. How did you do? Again, safety first. No picture is worth risking your safety over. The end. Thank you and stay safe.